G'day guys, Leadit Pros here from fstoplounge.com. Today, I just wanted to talk about marketing your business. It's a really serious thing. You know, if you want to be successful in your photography business, marketing is one of those things you've just got to think about. First of all, you want to actually start talking to your customers. But who are my customers? Well, that's the thing. You need to talk on an offline sense rather than an online sense. So let me just explain that. When you're going out and about in everyday life, we're talking to people. You know, you ask someone, a stranger, a friend, whoever, you say, you know, how are you going? What are you doing? And, and they explain it. And you'll find in most cases, they'll actually say the same thing back to you. So that's your opportunity to actually start talking about yourself and your business and what you do. And you'll find if you're passionate about your, what you do, that's going to come across. And you'll find that that person will then recognize that and they'll actually want to be part of that. That's a natural thing. So you find the next time that they need a photographer, they'll have you in mind and they'll give you a call. That's how it should work. And also they'll refer you to friends as well. So make sure you go out talking to people and engaging with people. And that's my second thing. You want to actually start sharing. You want to start sharing what your passion is. But most of all, you want to start sharing uh, some content whether it be your photos online or whether it be in an exhibition or something like that, you want to start sharing the knowledge that's trapped up here and actually put it out to the public space. So I'll give you a classic example. A lot of photographers I know stick their photos up on Facebook and they go, what do you think about this photo? And that's all great. But if they're wanting to sell it, sometimes I see like, you know, a price attached and I go, oh yeah, that's, that's okay. This is just a digital print, but it's not tangible. What I highly recommend is next time you go out taking a photo and you want to post it on Facebook, actually get one printed up and actually hold the photo in, in the picture and take a photo of that, of yourself holding the image. And what that does, it gives you brand recognition because it goes, I'm a photographer and this is my work. And you can actually see the size of it and it's tangible then. People can actually see what it is. It's not just a photo on a page. Um, you'll find it's a product. and when you actually post things like that, people start sharing and engaging with you saying that's, that's a great photo, but they're actually, you might get questions that actually range from um, how, how much is it? Where can I get one of these? And that's, that's a sales cue for you to go, hey, people are interested. Maybe I should engage with them to help sell my product. Also, while we're on the subject of sharing, you want to make sure that you're sharing other people's work as well. There's nothing worse than actually just bombarding people with the same old stuff you actually want to you know, bring in some other content into your story. So it just means that you go out online, maybe find someone that's passionate about the same thing as you, that obviously isn't in the same sort of business district as you because you don't want to be competing against them. So make sure whatever work they're sharing that you find very interesting, share with your own people as well because they'll find it interesting as well. And from there you can build an audience. So we've done the talking, we've done the engaging, we've done the sharing. So you're building an audience. So what you need to do next is actually start promoting your business. And there's different ways of promoting your business without being spammy. You, it, people talk about the 80-20 rule. You know, 80% eight, of what you're doing should be actually sharing content and 20% should be talking about your own business sharing and, and promoting it, wanting to sell something. So that's 80-20, you make, make sure you use that rule. Now, when it comes to actually promoting your business, there's tons of ways to do it. You wanna differentiate yourself amongst other photographers and, and people who obviously are competing in the same market as you. So here's a couple of ideas. Everyone loves receiving things, so the best thing you could probably do is give something away. You know, so many companies do this these days that they give a prize away or they give a something, you know, a cash donation away to a charity. And that's all great because it, it, it's not only helping the community, but it's also actually, you know, raising their profile that they're actually willing to invest back into the community. So you could do the same by actually printing a, a photo and giving it to a charity to auction off. Only if it's your best photo though. Um, but maybe think about this idea of, of going down into your local market or your local street or whatever whatever fair you've got and actually taking a camera along and investing in some sort of signage it's not hard and you simply just say i'm going to take your photo for free and it's really simple to do you simply whether it be a family group or a portrait you can take a simple portrait shot with a nice sort of tight mid shot do a little bit of photoshop editing right there and then 
burn a disc with your name and your logo on the disc and hand it to them. No charge attached. And that's a really, really great way to market yourself because what you're doing, you're actually giving the client something with your own branding, but you'll find that will lead to another job, guaranteed. Because whatever you do, you know, as soon as you get one job, it leads to another. And that's just word of mouth. So using a communication and engaging with people and sharing something to basically promote yourself. And that's one, one great thing to do. So marketing doesn't have to be a big hoo-ha. You don't have to go out and market to the world. You can just market to one person if you want. If you want to keep your business small and intimate, maybe you just go out and teach someone photography. Go out and teach them the knowledge that you know. You know, how to best set up a product shot, how to best take a photo of a baby. Those sort of things, because what you can do, intimacy within a small community is going to be a fantastic tool. You'll find uh, you'll, you'll create a, a strong social bond with that person and they'll naturally want to promote your business. So it, therefore your marketing reach is just increased by one and you've got a loyal follower. So doing those little things of just teaching one person can make a really big difference in the long run, especially if you do it over a number of years. So the last way is advertising. Advertising is a huge way to promote your business, although it does cost money to advertise. And if you're a small business, it can be a little bit daunting spending that money. So there are ways around it. And let me tell you, as a small business, when I first started, one great thing of doing was actually just cross promotion. And you can do that through, you know, an online sense. Let's just say if you've got a blog or, you know, you're creative or you're um, passionate about something, you typically you want to write about it. And you can actually engage with websites and publications that share the same ideas as you. Reach out to the editors and actually say, do you mind if I submit a draft article to you and, and in exchange for a link to my website? And if you're constantly doing that and getting published, you'll find your name and brand is getting out there. People will read it and most likely in most cases, you'll probably get about a 10 to 15% click through rate back to your site. So it's very, very handy to do that, especially within your local area. So there you go guys, that's a simple way to actually market your business. There's, you know, all you need to do is talk, you actually need to engage with people, share with people your knowledge, and actually do a little bit of advertising on the side, whether it be free or paid, and you'll start seeing some results. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.